are, man, uh, series three, right? <laughs> Back in the vineyard. It's been fun watching uh, Lizzie James of this vineyard progress uh, and move forward with, with what's happening. And, you know, we started off with, with pruning this winter, um, setting up the vines for success. Um, and then we were back when we were um, shoot thinning and really balancing the vines. And this is one of the most exciting times of the season. And so um, as we balanced those vines and went through bloom, we were kind of adjusting crop loads out here and, and making sure that things were balanced so that the vine had just enough fruit to ripen it with just enough canopy. So it's giving us that light exposure and, and all of that stuff. And and July 4th is not only a celebration of our country, but it's also kind of that date that we use in Lodi um, when we start to see what is called verasion. Now, what verasion is, is it's kind of a physiological change with the fruit. So up from bloom until where we are today, um, we, uh, we went through bloom, the berries set, and they were going through cell division. Um, and that's where you were seeing the berry growth. Um, the berries were green. They were just slowly growing. Um, when we get to this point, cell division actually stops. And now we're going into cell growth. And what we have also with the cell growth and the continued um, um, expansion of the berry is we have now other things that are starting to kick in. Um, you can see those green berries, and this is a cluster here that is just starting to go through verasion. Um, those green berries now are starting to develop color. The, the color is all in the skin. Um, that's also where the lion's share of the tannin structure is that comes from the berry itself. And so you can see you have any, anywhere from that very green berry that's just completed cell division all the way into a few berries that are, this one's actually pretty much all the way through verasion. And you, then you've got berries in between that are just starting to develop that color. Um, so you have that color developing. You also have now sugars that are starting to accumulate. That vine is working to ripen that fruit. And, and um, the whole guise of this particular plant producing this fruit is because of really just a seed that's in, in that berry. Uh, and it's to help propagate and continue its species. And so, you know, you're going to ripen that fruit and make it really attractive for a bird or another animal to come in and eat it and take it off and drop that seed somewhere. And then a new vine would grow, right? Um, but for us, we're taking that beautiful ripe fruit and we're going to now take that into the winery and make something that you guys, the consumer, enjoy. And that's the wine side of it. So. This is just a really fun, fun spot for us. It, and it's really a critical time because now we're getting into that, that cell growth um, to where we have to now really regulate um, the moisture content that we have in the soil, um, all of the stuff that is happening there. If, if there's a lot of moisture in the ground and those vines are able to uptake it, a lot of that moisture will end up in the berry and those berries will get really large. Uh, sometimes to the point that they'll press against each other and actually crack. And if that happens, we have problems. Um, they'll start to drip and we'll lose that cluster. And so irrigation management is, is very critical. Um, nutritionally, we've really been taking care of these vines with the native cover crops, um, the, the organic load that we have with that. Um, but you look at the vine now and it looks very happy, very well balanced. And if you were to reach in here and eat one of these berries at the moment, um, I bet we're getting close, uh, at least having some good grape flavors in it. Oh, so there's really nice sugars that are already developing there. So, I, I talked about tannins a little bit earlier, and that's one of the things that we look at, not only with the, the, the sugar accumulation and the, the flavors that are developing in this berry, but the tannins that reside in that skin are part of the characteristic of the wine. And, and a lot of people, they've heard of tannins, but they don't really quite know what that is. And so, it's e the easiest way to, to describe that is 
um, nearly everyone has a cup of tea periodically. And when you drink that tea, you get a little kind of a gritty, almost a chalky characteristic on your palate. Those are the tannins that have been extracted from those tea leaves that are actually in that tea um, that give you kind of that rough characteristic on your palate. And that's part of the, um, the complexity of wines that we produce. That's one of the components that we look at um, with these varieties is uh, the tannin structure. And, and the tannins not only come from the skin of the berry itself, but we also get tannins from the oak barrels um, that also introduce themselves into that wine. So um, this is really exciting now. I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving the flavors I'm, I'm getting out of here. Um, so we're in the latter part of July at the moment. Um, I would say we have about another five, maybe six weeks before we'll actually be coming in and harvesting. Um, the fun part about Lizzie James is as we watch this fruit mature and develop, um, we get these really wonderful flavors um, that come out of it. And I've described it as, uh, these are like when we harvest and the flavors we're looking for, they're, they're like little pillows of grandma's jam. Um, you, for any of those guys my age or older, or even some young kids do it. If you've ever been to grandma's house, you, and usually years ago, sometimes you don't see it so much anymore, but you'd walk into grandma's house when she was making jam and you would walk in or even coming up to the front door and you'd get this amazing smell of that, those wonderful jammy flavor profiles. We actually get that in these berries out here in Lizzie James. And so I'm excited. Um, um, for those to develop. Um, it's been a really fun, interesting season versus this time last year. Um, if you remember last year in Lodi, we had uh, nearly 200% of annual rainfall. And so if you're in here last year, we were at this spot where we were trying to slow these vines down. There was so much moisture in the soil that we couldn't get, get the vines to really just kind of relax and, and allow us to kind of take care of them. Well, what a change in seasons. This year we had um, under 60% of annual rainfall here. And so this has been one of those years where we've been able to kind of manipulate and do exactly what we wanted to do in these, in these vineyards. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how close we get to hitting the target. Um, I'm excited for the fruit and I can't wait for this vintage. So um, we'll be seeing that in um, you know a couple of years. But in the meantime, um, this is where we're at at the moment in Lizzie James, and uh, I'm looking forward to bringing you back to uh, see what we have at harvest.